to the Old and Our channel. Today we are going to be revisiting one of the themes that we've based the video on about four years ago, which was around creating ambient swells, primarily using delay, reverb and a volume pedal. But I wanted to just share with you today how you can create different types of volume swells by some additional effects. So we've got the El Capistan giving us that tape echo. Let's hear that in conjunction with the volume pedal on its own. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool in itself. I've got the wow and flutter, which is the age of the tape sound, if you like, on the Kale Capistan ramped right up. So that's what's giving it that analogy warbly sound, which sounds lovely and warm and, and lush in itself. Um, but we then run into the timeline. So we're going to add in, uh, I'll add in a digital delay actually, rather than a tape delay, which on its own sounds like this. Let's add the El Capistan back in and let's volume swell in and see what that sounds like. Okay, cool. So that is the two delays. And then we'll move over to the last pedal in my chain before we hit my looper. And that is our Strymon Big Sky. So I will go to my hall setting, which is uh, uh, a really low, really high mix, um, low attack reverb for this. Let's hear that in isolation. That gives you a nice swell sound in itself, but let's then bring back in the digital delay. Let's bring in the El Capistan tape echo. And for our foundation layer, this is what we've got. fairly simple thing to remember um, but easy to get wrong is essentially when you're going to use your volume pedal so it's really important the whole purpose of why we're using the volume pedal in this context is to make sure that when we what that what guitar we hear has got low or no attack and what I mean by that is a guitar with full attack you'd actually hear the my plectrum or my fingers playing on the strings first and then the effect <laughs> from heel to toe we want to be playing the guitar strings first and after we played them then introducing the pedal okay so you're getting all that nice washed out um, low attack or no attack guitar sound which sounds lush and ambient and beautiful so what can you do on top of that how do we take that a stage further looking at the pedal board as i've got it set up now there's probably two or three main additional types of effect that i would look to add to the volume swell to give it a slightly different flavor or nuance the first will be by using the old blood noise endeavors visitor pedal for those of you that don't know what this is uh, we have done a previous video demonstrating this this pedal it's got two settings, so primary setting of tremolo, chorus, and phaser. You can run parallel to them an additional secondary tremolo or chorus, which creates some wild effects. Again, if you're interested in that pedal or what I've just talked about, go and check that previous video out. In this instance, we'll keep the exact same delay and reverb settings that we had previously. We'll add in the visitor pedal, and we'll just add some phaser on top. So hopefully you could hear the difference with that. You get that phaser warbly effect over the top of it. Uh, we'll try the same again with the chorus. Keep the rate and the depth roughly the same. So I've got the depth ramped all the way up clockwise uh, with the rate a bit slow. I don't really want it taking over. I just want it kind of a slow pulse um, on top of the delay and the reverb or underneath the delay and the reverb actually. Let's hear that with the chorus. Of 
lovely stuff. Another great pedal to be able to use for volume swells is any form of octave pedal. pedal we're going to talk about today for our advanced volume swells is another reverb pedal but we've actually got this before our delays now this is not necessary at all but if you do want to get volume swells with loads and loads of layers and texture within it then something like this can really add the difference we've got the old blood noise dark star and in this case we've got it set to crush so if we play that in isolation it sounds a bit like this Again, the way I've got that set up doesn't sound too great on its own, but it does add a lot of texture. And when you add in the rest of the effects, if we just go to the delays and the reverb, and you bring that back in with the Nano Pog, you get something like this. There you go, that gives you that bit more cinematic, gritty volume swell. Sounds like something out of some crazy Christopher Nolan soundtrack or something. So that's a wrap. Thank you for joining us on today's video. Hopefully you've taken something from it. If you've got any of your own personal preferences that help you to create great volume swells, then let us know in the comments below. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.